Yo guys, what's up? We're here with a newly released team of the season, Koulibaly. And as far as center backs goes, he looks like he could be top five, top 10 center backs in the game. That's what we're hoping for at least. Um, he's gonna be 6'2", medium high work rates. And let's see if he has any traits. No, he's just got a power header. So, you know, we'll have to see how that, how that plays out. But I mean, overall stats for a defender, kind of nuts, right? Especially that, uh, I mean, for, for a center back, he's got pretty good dribbling stats. He's got 99 reactions, 99 defensive awareness. His physical, three out of the four 99s. You know, after we boost him with the anchor Kim style, interceptions is up to 99. Um, and yeah, I mean, standing tackle, sliding tackle, everything looks crazy. And his passing jumps out too. I mean, 93 short passing, 93 long passing. What else can you ask for in a center back? So... Like I said, this guy should be outplaying my Maldini here. He should be hopefully like top five center backs in the game. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to be jumping into about five games of elite rivals with this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. What an interception from your boy Kuli Bali. Kuli, come on. Man, he's all over Durincha. Cooley. Oh, man, he just destroyed him, man. Man, Cooley is nuts. He's on making the run, but I can't get the ball to him. I'm going to manually switch to Cooley, and I'm going to head that away with him. Nice. Oh, yeah, Cooley Bali just put the tackle in there, man. That was good stuff. Saved the goal. All right, controlling it. Cooley. See if we can put a tackle in right here. Look at this. Yeah, he's just the way he just moves side to side, you know, and kind of jockeys. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. Oh, no, we sold. But guess who we got? Now, nah, Yetter has no chance against Cooley. No chance. What a save there from Cooley. Just the awareness, you know, to get in the way. Block it. That's all we can ask for. All right, Cooley. Get in the way. Oh, I went through his legs. Yeah, he did sell there. That's the first time I've seen him sell. That's here. Still can't do anything, really. Finally. Yeah, bro. Let's just cut that passing lane. That's too easy for Cooley. Oh, okay, it's all you, Cooley. Nice interception. Cooley beating out Kaka. Perfect. All right, what we gotta do? We gotta track back look at that kaka is not moving guys he's not moving all right could we close him down look at that blocking suarez after he closed him down all right coolie track him down where are we gonna where is he going he's looking for nedved and Cooley is in the passing lane, boys. I think we can. Nice. What a interception. Oh, we just frauded. Another nasty tackle. And that's a goal. Jeez, man. I'm in trouble now. Cooley, come on. Win that header. Look at him. Look at the jumping. Goodness. Cooley, what an interception on that pass from Nate. All right, guys, we're back after testing this new team of the season, Cooley Bali card, and a few games of Elite Rivals, and then in a few games of Foot Champs. And overall, I came away super impressed with this with this card. Uh, the biggest things that stood out to me, as far as his pros, 
would probably be just the way he was able to kind of, I guess, jockey and cover those passing lanes very, very quickly. Kind of like a Vieira in the center mid spot or a Conte, but, you know, in the center back position. So his interceptions were absolutely insane. Um, really nothing bad to say about his defense and his physical. He's not quite as much of a bully as the bigger in-game center backs like Virgil van Dijk and Varane, you know, those guys, but he is more agile than those guys. So, you know, you, you don't quite get the physical presence as much as those guys, but you get a little bit of a boost in the agility and balance and just how they how he feels on the ball versus those other guys. Um, his pace was great. He was able to, you know, chase back with most of the, just about every striker I came against or winger and kind of, you know, ultimately catch up to them and try to put in the tackle. So, yeah, he wasn't really getting blown away as far as pace by anybody. And his heading was also just superb. You know, he has got that 99 jumping. He was able to win those headers, clear the ball when I needed him to. So I thought that was amazing as well. Um, I would say this guy's a top 10 center back in the game. He is probably, so. yeah, he's not top five, but he's somewhere between five and 10. Um, and yeah, so I, I would highly recommend this guy. Um, I, I bought him for 600K. So like value for coins, I think he's, he's a little bit closer to 500K now after he's been on the market for a few hours. So yeah, I mean, around that 500K mark, I would say he's, he's really good value. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick up, pick him up and try him out with some of the new, other new team of the season, Serie, Serie A cards, you know, go ahead and go for it, slot him in the team. And I really don't think you'll be disappointed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this player review. If you did, remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.